Hey everybody, my name's Seth, and I'm here to talk about something I do all the time that you should probably be doing, is juicing vegetables. That's right, juicing vegetables. What I mean by juicing vegetables, I mean there's a machine that you put vegetables in, it squeezes out all the water, and gives you a bunch of water with all the vitamins from that vegetable, and you drink it. Just drink it like normal, just like it's regular water. And I'm doing a product review on something, on a juicer I use, not necessarily saying that this is going to be the right juicer for you, but it's a more high-end, expensive one, and there's not enough reviews about there out there about this product, and it is fairly expensive, so I'm going to talk about it now. It is the Boom, the Green Star Elite, the Twin Gear Juice Extractor. I mean, this thing came in a huge box. Look how massive this thing is. So the reason why I decided to go with this one well, because it had a twin gear and it was a slow crush. Now, I'll get into the reason why about, about uh, that in a minute. When you pick out juicers, the, the main important thing is that you don't want the juice to be squeezed by the air because it oxidizes it more and it damages more of the nutrients. What you want is you want a slow crush. Picture it as if you were taking a vegetable and you were grabbing with your hands and you're squeezing all the water out of there. Now, essentially, you want your machine to do that. Because you want that, that causes less damage to the vegetable and it oxidizes slower because you're not using air to pressurize it and push all the vegetables together and crush it. It's a slow crush and it's a twin geared system. So when this actually works with two, two twin gears that spin, like one spinning here and the other one spinning here, and then you push the vegetables and it goes right in between the two gears that are spinning and it slowly crushes it and gets all the juice out and it uh, separates the pulp. Now, whenever you whenever you juice vegetables, you want to have a tray set aside for the juice, catch all the uh, water that comes out, and you also want a tray that's set aside for all the pulp. You're not going to do anything with the pulp. You don't even you just throw it away, or you can find some other use for it if you want. You just want the water. That's all you want. You want all those vitamins and minerals in that water water form, and you want to drink it all down. Now, the reason why you want to have a juicer is because of the fact that it's a faster way for your blood or for your body to absorb the vegetable juice all the water that comes out of it quicker into your bloodstream and that it just delivers all these nutrients and you can kind of get a rush from it whenever you drink vegetable juice. I picture it and I usually tell people that it's almost like drinking an energy drink but it's all natural energy and that's that, that's you know I get that feeling when I drink it. Anybody else that I talk to or if you have tried it I'm sure you would even agree that you get a rush of energy from drinking vegetable juice. Now let's get back to talking about the Green Star Elite because it is a very expensive product it, it goes on the market for like over 500 bucks, like 550 or 60 something like that. You can shop around and get discounts, I'm sure, at different stores. But generally, you're going to be paying probably around 5 to 550 for this product, or for, the, yeah, for this product here. Now, the reason why, like I said, I, I suggest it is number one, there's a, there's a few different reasons why I look for it, but number one is I, I want to see how it's being crushed, how the vegetables are being crushed. Is it using air to pressurize it, to push it all together? And then crush it because when you do that, you're oxidizing it more. So I try to find things that are either a single gear or a twin gear, like this product is, in a slow crushing form. So it has a very strong motor that twists it at a very high torque. So when it's sitting there, it just crushes the vegetables and it pushes it hard. It doesn't spin it real, real fast and try to grind it. It slow crushes it. And that's what I look for with the juicer because that, like I said, prevents it from uh, destroying as much nutrients as it. Because you want all the nutrients you can get from all the vegetables that you have. Because let's be honest, produce isn't the cheapest thing ever, especially when you're juicing as much as I am. So that was number one. Number two is easy. You want something that's going to be easy to clean up and that juices quickly. So with it being an easy cleanup, that's going to motivate you more to want to juice more. Whenever you have a thing with 60 different parts and you have to juggle them all and you have to figure out what to do and you have to clean seven different parts, that's where it gets kind of crazy and chaotic. A lot of people don't like that. I always say if it's easy to clean up, you're going to use it more often. And that's exactly what you want. You want something that's going to be durable, that lasts long, and that something that you're going to want to be able to use and get it get it done as quickly as possible because everyone's busy and everyone, everyone's got things to do. This is a pretty, like I would say, it's not the easiest cleanup on a juicer I've used, but it's, it's fairly easy. you got about four parts that you clean. You got the filter, you got the top hatch, which you actually put down the uh, juice vegetable or the vegetable itself here. I'll actually show you. So you got this piece right here, which is the part that you have to clean. It's where you shove all that, uh, the vegetables down in. You got this case cover right here from here on over. It's like a casing. It's really easy to clean. 
You got two twin gears inside of that that you also claim with the filter. And uh, the part that keeps the filter all together, like where this stems down, there's another piece that connects to it. So essentially, you got like four major pieces that you claim. It's pretty quick. You can run it underwater. It's generally, that does the trick. And another thing is, I'd say the third thing would be, is that, that, that narrow hatch where you put the, uh, the vegetables in. You don't want a narrow hatch. You want something that's big so you can put a lot of vegetables in. And you don't have to sit there and chop like a carrot up into a hundred different pieces. You can take the entire carrot and just shove it down there and get it done. Where this does a really good job, it has a really big opening for uh, vegetables. You can generally put anything in there without having to cut it up more than once. And for me, that's really great. You just chop it up once. If it's like a cucumber, for instance, there's going to be very few items on the market that's going to be able to take a whole cucumber and shove it in there. Plus, it's not good for the gears anyway. You want it to be at least chopped once. So you don't have to chop it a million times. It's a pretty decent size. So you can probably put a lot of vegetables in there, with, which I do. Uh, other than that, I'd say that it works really well. I use it generally about twice a week, and I've been doing that for a few months, and I haven't had any problems. Nothing was broke. Nothing was shorted out. Whereas a lot of cheaper ones, I've had people say they broke in 30 days. Or even one person even told me that one of the juicers they bought from like a Walmart, it was like a $50 juicer, that broke after the second time of using it. So you're really paying for what you get. If you want quality, you're going to have to spend the money like anything else. But on the flip side, whenever you do spend the money, you'll actually get a good product that won't break down on you. You'll be able to use it time and time again for as many times as you plan on using it. Also, with that being said, is that it also has a warranty as well. So, you know, a manufacturer's warranty, obviously they have the manufacturer warranty because it's generally going to last longer than that. But it's really good. Everything other than that works out pretty pretty well. Has extra pieces to it. He uh, has a wooden, um, I, I guess, a crusher. It's like that thing that you use to shove the vegetables in there. It has a wooden one and a plastic one. Um, it has an extra filter for a uh, puree and all that kind of stuff if you're into that kind of thing. But just juicing itself, it's a very great juicer. I would definitely give it a five out of five. The Green Star Elite it is fantastic. And you know, whatever you would like the vegetable juice is all up to you. I mean, you can put pretty much anything in it. I put some fruits in there. I make up my own blends. As a matter of fact, one of my favorite blends would be beets, cucumbers, carrots, cilantro, parsley, ginger, and I have some celery in it generally. Ooh, lemon and lime. That's right. So here we go. I got the big kahuna right here. This is a bunch of juice vegetables I juiced just a minute ago. I'm going to chug it all here for you. And the Ninja Turtle Challenge right here. This is how you really juice some vegetables and drink it. Yeah, hatch. Excuse me. Woo! That's 48 ounces right there. This holds about 50. Goes all the way to the top. About 48 ounces of juice vegetable. You drink that every day. I guarantee you're going to be feeling real good. My name's Seth. Thanks for watching this review. If you have any questions about anything, send a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Watch all the rest of my videos. If you want to learn how to make videos like this, all you do is just click the link down below. Click the link down below. Get started, and uh, maybe you might be able to make some money doing this too. Like I said, I'm Seth. That's all I got for you today, and that's a wrap.